this Subaru Legacy has something on it which makes it really quite distinct. Something that no other Subaru in all the years, all the decades we've been making them has ever worn. And it's this, a badge in the back which says diesel. Because finally, finally, Subaru has joined the diesel, diesel revolution. Okay, obviously it's got more than a diesel badge at the back end. To the front end, than the bonnet, it's got the diesel engine. In this case, a 2 litre turbocharged unit. For years, every other car maker has rushed to get a diesel engine, either developing their own or buying one from another manufacturer. Subaru, though, has ploughed a lone furrow, persisting with the petrol engines. The reason why it's done so is that it says probably its defining characteristic is the engine, which is unusual in having what's called a flat cylinder configuration, either the four, flat four or the flat six. It's uh, a an engine that, that Subaru have designed that Subaru has used for 40 odd years and didn't want to change. It also has four wheel drive um, and it's not easy to make a conventional engine fit into the Subaru chassis. Therefore, it decided it's worth waiting to develop its own. Well, four years later on, it now has the diesel, a two litre turbo diesel, uh, and I have to say, it's absolutely beautiful. That delay, while Subaru insisted on developing its own uh, flat at four engine, has cost a dear in terms of fleet sales and retail sales as well, because we know every man's dog has been switching towards diesel. But now this unit gives Subaru the armour it needs to go back and tackle those fleet sales. We're talking about 50 mpg here, on average, a uh, CO2 output of 100, 151 grams per kilometre. Those are impressive figures. But uh, there's actually more to it than that. It's the way this engine drives that makes it so special. It may have taken Subaru a long time to respond to the uh, explosion in the diesel market, but I've got to say, it's built an absolute cracker of an engine. This feels far more like a petrol engine. The, the throttle response is excellent, really very, very good, very sharp, very instant. There's no delays, nothing like that. Um, it's also quite revvy, surprisingly so for, for a diesel engine. Um, it's very, very smooth, uh, very quiet, and actually <coughs> Subaru claims that um, the moving noise of this, this car is 70 decibels, which actually less, it's quieter, that means, than uh, a Rolls-Royce Phantom. Whatever, it's certainly uh, a quiet car, a smooth car, you're averaging 50 mpg, and even with the, the four-wheel drive, which normally uh, blunts fuel consumption, this uh, Super Legacy is still returning better mpg than a two-wheel drive equivalent Ford Mondeo estate or VW Passat estate. For the time being, the diesel is only available in, in the uh, Legacy or the Outback. Um, but it'll soon make its way into the Forester, the new Forester, and of course the Impreza. And Subaru tell me that there are more powerful versions planned for the future, so there's good news on that front. Most of all, <coughs> um, to me this car is a marriage made in heaven. The Legacy I, I think is one of the most underrated cars out there. It's, it's a, you know, it's a great, great car, but not, not people can consider it, presumably because of the petrol engine. Um, but the marriage of, of this car and this engine it makes this car, it makes this legacy just an absolute delight to drive. It's, it's lovely, lovely, lovely. It's fantastic. At long last, Super has now got the weapons it needs to go back and compete for the fleet sales. And I really hope it succeeds. Yeah.